Good day folks, my name is Raymond Moore and I'm here with Summit RV in Junction City, Oregon. Today we're going to do a little show and tell of this really nice 1998 Monaco Windsor. It's a 36 footer and powered with a C-Series Cummins 300 horsepower engine with the Allison 6 speed transmission. With the Monaco Windsor, this whole section will slide out. This is bus armor, uh, which was very common back in its day for protection. But like I say, this whole generator will slide out for accessibility and we do have the Onan quiet diesel generator. We'll go around one side or the other and we'll do a little show and tell. Full body paint down below, aluminum wheels. One thing I'll really emphasize is the Roadmaster chassis. The difference between a Freightliner and Roadmaster, the Roadmaster has eight outboard airbags. It gives you far more stability going down the road and you don't have this side to side when you're going through uh, some potholes in the road. I do have a slide out on this side, it's the galley slide. Down below we have storage and a lot of this storage goes past through storage down below. I'll show you that more on the other side, it's a little bit easier to get to than it is on this side. Again, the unique features of some of the Monaco Windsor products, and that is we have a side-mounted radiator. Why do I mention that? And that is it's cleaner. It pulls air from the outside as opposed to a rear-mounted radiator where all that dust and dirt's coming over the engine right through the radiator. So you have to maintain that rear engine mounted radiator, excuse me, a little bit more than what you do with a side-mounted radiator. 50 amp service. Accessibility to the engine is very easy. We're just going to lift up on those two handles. We do have a 10,000 pound tow hitch on the back and a ladder to get on the roof. Where the backup monitor is, that's our intake for the air cleaner, right up there. So again, we're drawing in clean air from up above. Full Monaco mud flap across the back. We have replaced the batteries uh, on the house batteries with this coach. Uh, we've been through it pretty thoroughly. We've sealed the roof up. It does have the enclosed awnings for more protection from the fabric. This is what I was referring to, folks, right here. It's what we call, some people refer to the coffin. The coffin slides either side, so you can get to all the stuff you've got stacked in the middle. And then the propane with the Monaco people is a bullet type propane unit that goes clear across the chassis so you're not having all that weight just on one side. Little things that they do uh, as opposed to some of the other companies this is fully insulated uh, compartment here or very well built aluminum frame. So Curtis let's go inside and we'll show them the floor plan of the inside Folks, at the end of this video, you're going to have some information telling you who to contact, where to contact them, and phone number, that kind of information. So I really would appreciate it if you need any more information on this beautiful coach right now. We have it listed for 43.8. Six-speed Allison transmission. You have leveling jacks, backup monitor. You have the Sony 10-disc CD changer in the front. Dash fans has the old analog TV. Obviously most of the people change those out these days. Six-way power seats. Now in this area here folks you can either put another couch so you can have two opposing couches that sleep or the folks who own this just have the chairs. Did I mention it does have the thermal dual pane windows? Two ducted roof air conditioners. So the galley is slid out right now. We do have a residential faucet. By that I mean it pulls out, has the squirt on the end. This is a separate ice maker, so it gives you more room in the freezer, whereas a lot of manufacturers will put the ice maker right into the freezer, which takes up half the freezer space. We do have fluorescent lights in the ceiling. This is your thermostat here for your fantastic fan right over here in the kitchen. And then this controls both front and back air conditioning. Four-door fridge, which is really nice. Very roomy. 
lots of room in freezer and the refrigerators, 12 cubic foot. Going down through the hallway, we have closet, closet, closet. And I'll open these up just so you can see the rod. We have all the information right here in the package with all the owner's manuals. This area here, folks, that's vented would go a washer dryer if you wanted one. It's a one piece washer dryer. It wouldn't be a two piece separate. It's what they call an RV washer dryer. Over here, I'm going to open the door for Curtis to look in. One thing that I really like about this coach, not so much myself, but my wife, is all the counter space. You know, if you're on the road, the ladies still want to put their makeup on, look nice. I have the garden shower, one piece molded, fiberglass. Back into the bedroom, what these folks who've owned it previously have done is they took out the standard um, mattress and they put in an oversized one with memory foam on top. So it makes it a little bit difficult to get around the bed. However, what I would do is I would just go back with a standard. Maybe the gentleman that owned this was a taller gentleman and didn't want his feet hanging off the end. We do have closets either side and then I have a generator start switch right by the bedroom over here. That little white thing you see on the wall by the generator start switch is the sensor uh, for the ACs up above. And to my left, I know we're not going to be able to look at it quite, but there is a flat screen TV that they've installed after the fact. So folks, if you're looking for a nice diesel pusher, uh, lots of power, you don't have to worry about that. The B series is the small one. This is the C series, so this is the next one up. We have stops down here, and this is a solid door that closes off the bedroom from the bathroom area. I've only hit on a few high points today. Uh, my name's Raymond Moore. I'm here with Summit RV in Junction City, Oregon. Family-owned business. I love it here. We do business. We do it the right way. Please call me. Stop by. Send me an email if you're interested in this one. If not this one, maybe there's something else you have in mind. Thanks for watching the video, and have a great day.